Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the iterators and iterables in Python programming language. Before going to this topic, first let us discuss little bit about the for loop, how actually it works in Python and all. Okay, here we can see an example. Here is a list called list1 and these are the elements of that list. And here we used for loop to print the elements of that list. Here for and in are the keywords. i is a variable and list1 is a list name. And here we are printing the element of that list. Here initially i value will be the first element of that list. That is i value will be 5. And it will print that. After that control again go to the for loop. Now i value will be the second value of that list. That is 1.2 then it will print that after that again control goes to the for loop now i value will be the third element of that list the process of traveling from one element to another is called as iteration this for loop will work in the same way for the tuples set dictionaries and strings for example here we can see few example this is the for loop for set this is tuples, this is string and we can use this for loop in the same way to dictionaries also. Suppose if any case if you want to write a program without for loop then how will you do that? There are two choices. The first choice is using indexing and this indexing method will work for the sequences that is list, tuple and strings but it won't work for the sets and dictionaries. For example, here we can see a list that is fruits and it contains some elements and here we are printing this element of list without using for loop that is we are using while loop here. Here we can see i equal to 0 this is a variable and here we are using indexing method to print these values. First here we can see we used length function so here length is 3 it will print the first element here because i is initially 0 and i will be increment i value will be 1 so it will print second element here after that i will be 2 so it will print third element we execute this and here we can see the output right but this method won't work for the set and dictionaries because set and dictionaries are unordered there are no first element, second element, third element. We'll take example for that. I'll change this to set. Okay, now this is the set. So I'll save this and run this. And here we can see the error because set object does not support indexing. Okay, so this method fails for set and dictionaries. We want to set up a method which will work for all means sequences set and dictionary okay for loop will work for all right so we want a method instead of for loop and the next option is using iterator protocol iterator protocol is nothing but the way of working iterators and iterables okay now you may ask what is iterator and what is iterables right so i'll explain you that here in this example we can see for i in list one right this list one is called as iterables. Everything we can loop over is called as iterables. For example, list is a iterable, tuple, set, dictionaries, strings, these are all called as iterables because we can use loop over them. And this iterables will give iterators to us. Iterator is an object, it has only one work that is to give the next element present in the iterables okay this is bit confusing right so i'll explain you with the example the for loop will work on the iterator protocol that means if i use this and here list one is called as iterables this iterables will call an built-in function iter which will give iterators as output and that iterators will give the next value of that list or tuples or we can say iterables 
If you are still not getting, don't worry. As I said, the iterables will call an built-in function that is iter, right? So now I'll call that function iter. This is an built-in function and here I'll pass list1 to the iter function which is an iterable and I'll enter. Here we can see it will give list iterator object. As I said, iter function will give iterator object because this is the list. So here we can see the list iterator object. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll create one variable called iterator. Okay. Now I'll enter. Now I'll call the next function, which is also an inbuilt function. And enter we can see the first value of this list one right we can see the second value we can see the third value and here we can see the stop iteration method that is for loop will work on this logic the iterables will call the iter function and that iterable will pass to this iter function and it will give an iterator and that iterator is passed to an inbuilt function next and it will give the value of that iterables or we can say list tuple or whatever once the elements are over it will raise an exception that is stop iteration okay this is about the iterators iterables and how for loop will work internally in python that's it for now thank you for watching i'll meet you in next class in next class, we are continuing our discussion on this topic. Till then, take care.